In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a simple but great looking CV or resume in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together from designing it to actually building the report itself. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So building a resume or CV is something that I haven't done for a while and it's somewhat of a task, at least for me anyway. I have to think about showcasing my skills, but not too much to have multiple pages and pages of text. I want it to be eye-catching so it can stand out amongst other candidates. If you're applying for a role that works with Power BI, what best way to showcase your skills than building your CV as a Power BI report? You can showcase your abilities of building and designing a report, and even take advantage of the interactive elements and charts available in Power BI. The first thing that you do typically, even in a normal Power BI report development, is to design it. And usually, I find it easiest to do this in PowerPoint, as it allows me to visualize components, move them around, especially if I'm not quite sure what the design would be. The key thing that we need to show in a CV would be obviously your name and contact information, your work experience, education, skills, and certifications and projects you may want to showcase. You can have other things there, but for me, this perfectly encapsulates my professional career without really overbloating the CV with unnecessary details. So here's the design that I came up with. Basically, I want a picture on the top left hand side with some contact information highlighted along with my personal statement. Then I want to highlight my career experience and I want it at the top because this is most likely the first thing that the future employers will want to know about me. So when reading, people tend to read from left to right, top to bottom. So you really want to put important details at the top, it's, which is a similar concept to normal Power BI reports anyway. Then I want to show a bit about my education, then skills, certification, and then any other projects that I want to highlight here. In this CV, I'm planning to add just a few interactive elements like links uh, to make it not so complicated. I want to use, let's say, maybe a line chart for the experience bit so they can hover over or select experience to get some information about how my role was in those areas or maybe even bar charts for my different skills. Everything else in this report, I want them to stay static. And for those static elements, you would typically have them all as part of your background in order to save some loading time. I'm a big fan of creating them in PowerPoint because of how easy it is to do so. So let's go through it together now.
So this is the final design with all of the static elements that I want in my CV. Now sort of designed here in PowerPoint. So you can see that I've added a few things like the contact information, email address, website, some profiles. And I've also added some images here, which uh, they will remain static, but you can add things like links to them later, certifications, or even links to certain projects that you might want to showcase as part of your CV. I've left experience and skills blank because we want to use some interactive elements here in Power BI. So um, let's continue then. So let's start uh, by taking the background and importing it into uh, Power BI. So just to take an example, so you normally just export this into an image file but for me this will be enough for now so i will just create this as a png let's go to a blank power bi report and from here we do canvas canvas background from the images let's just import the cv background that we've done transparency and fit so that will make sure that your background is fit into your page. And here we are pretty much almost done. The only thing that we need to add are the dynamic elements. I've already prepared as part of this demo, of course, a few of the data points that I want to add into this report. So one is the experience, um, which is just some random experience, work experience that I uh, would include in a CV. So you would have the role, the description of what that work experience entailed, the period of when that work experience happened, and the order column. So the order is just a means for us to kind of organize the, uh, the lists in a chronological order. We also have a second sheet here for our work, uh, for our skills. So you have uh, a few soft and hard skills, which we're going to use um, and visualize in our CV. So let's import th these two uh, things into our CV report here. Import both and transform. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. This one skills. Tech data type. This one would be experience. Yeah, very well. So hit close and load. Let's load it into our data model here. So let's start with the easiest ones, which is just the the uh, bar charts and for the skills we may want to just use a stacked bar chart here so we can do skill like this and then rating and remaining so let's format this a little bit Remove the legends, remove some of these axes that we don't need, titles, increase this a little bit, change the color, or remove the title first, change the colors. And finally, since we have two types of skills that are prepared here, I'm just going to add a filter here for hard skills, copy and paste, and then one for soft skills. There we go. 
the next thing we want to do is to show our experience as a, a line chart here at the top. So we're gonna create some sort of uh, a timeline like visual. And the easiest one that I could think of at the moment is the line chart. So let's start by adding the period. Well, you need to just make sure that first of all, all of your columns are sorted by the order column. So you'll set the period, sort by column, order. We'll do all of that. So here as well, roll by order, description by order. Just make sure that everything is sorted by, or we can sort, and we will follow the sorting order here. So let's bring in the line chart once more. Periods, and for the y-axis, we can uh, we can just simply count. Doesn't really matter. Here we are. Let's just, uh, again, format this a little bit. Remove the titles. Axes. Let's remove the background. And then on the visual side of things, let's add some markers here. Make them slightly bigger. Then change them uh, colors. Here we are. And the reason why we want I wanted this as a line chart is because you have the ability to also hover over these elements, which you can get fancy with. Uh, using custom tooltips, but for now we'll keep it simple. So we will just um, add things like descriptions, role, you will see it gives you some information about specific experiences that you might have and what I wanted to do is to add if you remember from our design here I wanted to have a summary here to always show a description so even if they don't uh, if, if so even if your employers or your future employers recruiters they look at this report, they can always see your most recent work experience summary. Uh, and I want to also give them the ability to select and choose between the other experiences. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, let's say, yeah, I'm going to create a DAX function here to get the most recent experience that you have for each of these different categories. So maybe let's start with the period uh, latest calculates max uh, period the order is equals to max order. So if I put this in a card like this, you'll see that it gives me October 2022 to present, which if nothing is selected, it will show me that. However, if something is selected here, it will show me that context, which is pretty handy. So we're gonna repeat this process for the rest of the experiences. So new measure. So let's do L description. Same thing. New measure. 
star roll. Same thing here. Right, so let's start. Let's add the text box here. Let's have this deselected. Then for our summary, we're going to add a value here. We'll use uh, L period. Add a comma. Then we can add L row. Or maybe we can just add it at the bottom. It doesn't really matter. And then L description. There we are. So if I just make these two bold, there we go. So it gives you, or it gives us the most recent experience that you have. But if you make a selection here, it gives you those as well. So lastly, from here, what you can also do in terms of interactive elements is to add some invisible buttons. So for example, you have some projects listed out here on the bottom. Instead of just having them static like this, you can create some a blank button like this one, for example, surround it with the button. So let's remove the border. Here we go. So we have now an invis invisible button, which you can add an action to under button here which you can then add a URL, which links to a public facing URL for that project for your future employers to see. And that's really it for the very simple CV that we have built here. So from here, what you can obviously now think about is to publish this up into the Power BI service and make it publicly available. If you don't know how to make it uh, public, uh, there's a video that I covered uh, to do that. So this demo was only looking at the most basic way that you can create a CV in Power BI. However, if you want to get fancier with your Power BI CV, you can check out my other videos and make an impression by creating some more cool visual tricks, like let's say adding stars on your skills instead of a bar chart. You can jazz up your tooltips by using custom tooltips. There's lots of ideas that you can integrate for your own version of your CV or resume. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.